Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. Yes, the thumbnail is true. We all need your help. The ESO community needs your help. This is not just for PvE or PvE or role players or whoever. This is a community as a whole. It would be nice to have everyone come together and reach a consensus on the recent drama in the Crown Store. You guys know all the malicious Crown Store offerings to new players. So the whole ESO fam represent um, slogan, jargon, scenario, whatever you want to call it was to bring in new players to ESO to hopefully revitalize it you know as an MMO genre and what has happened is that they brought these new players in and offered items to them in the crown store which are you know, seven eight dollars you know they're they're kind of cheap but still it is money nonetheless and you can get these exact same services in game for next to nothing and often free so Zoss capitalized on this. Not only do they capitalize on them, but they advertised it on an official forums post. Now, I'm not sure who is in charge of the forum post, right? It's went through many iterations of people who oversee it. So maybe this post was, you know, just an accident or someone who was new, what have you. But regardless, it caused an absolute uproar in the community and as it should. So as if that wasn't bad enough, um, Rich Lambert was questioned about this on his Twitch live stream. I'm sure you guys have seen the boss from uh, Captain Crunch, Sawman UK, uh, myself, um, of the clips of him behaving like a degenerate essentially on stream when asked constructive criticizing questions about PvP changes or the game in general or the microtransactions in general being malicious. Well, he banned Captain Crunch. I mean, long story short, he pretty much laughed in our faces. Well, not, when I say our faces, I mean the communities because we are legitimately concerned about the community and its well being. It doesn't matter if you're PvP, PvE, it doesn't matter. This is not just a bunch of PvP people being whiny. This affects all of us, okay? So, Godzilla, ESO, uh, the real Godzilla, he reached out to the community members, or, oh, excuse me, the, the devs, community members, whatever you want to call them, in a constructive manner, saying, hey, we need an open line of communication uh, between the uh, PvP community and the devs, just so we know what you guys are working on. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything, just some sort of correspondence between the two parties just to show that you guys are somewhat talking about it acknowledging our complaints our whining our you know whatever so it started off pretty good gina bruno responded you know rich lambert everyone's super uh, professional about it and uh, it's been five weeks later and they've yet to reach back out to godzilla he is annoyed as he should be because there is no open line communication like i said so Reaching out to them in a constructive, nice way doesn't matter. Answering or asking very tough questions on streams that we all deserve answers to doesn't work. So the only thing left, guys, is to hit them where it hurts, which is monetization. So we have this form by JTK Gaming here. Um, amazing, passionate ESO content creator. I will leave his link down in the description. Um, he made this petition for us. He's got a really nice banner, by the way. It looks pretty dope. Um, so we had this petition here and I'll go ahead and kind of read through the petition. It only takes a couple minutes to sign. Um, I would like to get this up to at least a thousand signatures just so it can hold its own weight in water, right? So, um, we'll read through this, um, by Johnny B here. All right. This is really not nice thumbnail, by the way. I uh, absolutely love this. So kudos on the, uh, the editing. <laughs> so, uh, I'll zoom in here just a bit. I'm starting this petition because the ESO community was outraged by Zoss's handling of Crown Store items, respect scrolls, vampire bites, etc. I think a great compromise would to have a better transparency on said items stated on the item that can be acquired in game at said location. Kind of like the help tab. Um, you guys know that there's a help tab that kind of shows you how to get certain services and what are in the game. We want a disclaimer in the Crown Store as well saying, hey, if you don't want to buy it here for convenience, which is a perfectly valid marketing tactic that's fine but you also need to say hey if you don't want to pay out of pocket for this there's a way you can get this in game as well so also another ongoing problem is ESO is the fact PvP players feel like they're not being listened to and in general there's a disconnect between the player base and Zoss. I think having a small group of full-time PvPers and content creators that have a direct channel of Zoss so questions can be asked or answered directly so what he means by this is having one to you know a few representatives from the pvp community i would love to elect myself to constructively get our concerns or communicate our concerns to devs like hey um, i know we have all this going on but can you please narrow down your focus to this area of bugs or whatever emphasis for pvp that would be 
the ongoing correspondence because Zoss is overwhelmed, they're understaffed, it's the holidays, COVID. I get it, there's a shortage of hardware chips, you know, whatever. So they can only do so much, all right? So this would be an open line communication between us content creators and devs saying, hey, narrow your focus just so you guys aren't overwhelmed. You know, everyone wins. Or if you can't fix it, just tell us. We, we don't care if you can't fix it. Just just tell us you can't fix it or you're not going to work on it. Just tell us something. Like, just just go and rip off the band-aid, you know? Um, what we were asking for, better transparency on the ground store. Like I stated, PvP or content creators also have direct line of Zoss. Uh, feedback to be given. Uh, we stated that. If Zoss does not agree to these uh, things, everyone that signs the petition agrees to not pay for the ESO Plus or any crowns for the month. I've already done this. So if you do take the time to fill out this position, please be a uh, petition. Please be honorable in this. This is stating that, hey, um, essentially boycotting the crown store or uh, ESO Plus. Uh, I've already started my transition doing it. I've already purged my craft bag inventory. It's really not that bad, to be honest. It's really nice to go through your inventory because I have so many useless things anyway. So this might be a, a fun couple hours for you guys to uh, enjoy the uh, inventory simulator um, once you uh, get rid of the craft bag. The craft bag is really the only selling point of ESO Plus, let's be honest. Um, but I'm not going to think of you guys any less for not signing this petition, right? Um, this is just something that I want to make a difference for. This is something um, that I would like to paraphrase from uh, the Declaration of Independence is uh, a paraphrase, of course. Those who have the ability to take action. Well, I butchered that. Those who have the ability to take action have the responsibility to take action. And right now, I feel that, hey, I don't need ESO+. Plus. I'm not a master crafter. I don't need all this inventory space. Yes, I am a content creator for ESO, but at the same time, I don't need it. I was just doing it to really, you know, my convenience, again, and to support the company. And I really don't want to support the company if the figureheads are going to act like Rich Lampert. Like, I understand someone has to stream, someone has to be the fall guy, someone has to be the, the face of uh, ESO, but uh, in any other game, you, you think Bobby Conan from World of Warcraft, if he said fuck on stream, or was laughing at community members or telling them good riddance like during a stream you think he would be in that position no he would not and why some members are allowed to get away with this is unbeknownst to me but i'm not going to speculate on that we've already covered that in a previous video so in closing please take a couple of minutes to sign together we can make a change and this and this is absolutely true um there are power in numbers fellas and the only way Zoss is going to listen now, we, we, we tried every approach we can. We tried direct. We tried, you know, Godzilla's approach being super nice and respectful, which was, it, it got us the furthest we've ever got, but they just kind of shut that down. So the only thing left is to money. I mean, that's, it's, it's a root of all evil. It really is. It's, uh, it's sad it's come to that, but um, I really feel that we can make a difference here, guys. So please consider this i know it's the holidays you know guys got things going on just uh consider signing this petition once we get up to a thousand i would love to get up to a thousand um that would really speak volumes about our message and hopefully they'll listen to us so um that's all i really had to say guys i want to thank you all for watching today's video please do not forget to go subscribe to jtk gaming again his channel link will be in the description also sub to Solman uk Captain Crunch, Shelty, you know, all, all, all the good old boys, right? Now, we're all in this together, um, despite whether or not the bigger ESO content creators want to get their hands dirty or not. Well, if they don't want to get their hands dirty, then it's up to us uh, smaller channels to do the work for them, which uh, I don't mind doing. I actually am proud to do so. I like to represent the community in a positive manner. I feel that I bring a lot to the PvP community, and uh, hopefully we get this open line of communication between us and the devs, guys. That's all I had to say. Y'all have a great rest of your day and peace.